My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable two-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinners using everyday ingredients. Hey guys, so it is super hot in Dallas this week, so I will not be turning on the oven for any reason at all. I'm gonna be using up stuff from my freezer and pantry this week making, you know, grilling meat or using the stove top, but not turning on the oven. As you can see today, it is 108. And then for the rest of the week, you got 109, 109, 109, 102. So it's very, very hot. But I am going to make this um, orange chicken. It has been in my freezer for a while. It is from HEB, which is a grocery store here in Texas. And then I am going to be making this Korean fried rice um, that Howard and I really like a lot. It does come with peas and carrots. So I always take those out before I make it. And you can either make these, um, let's see, this fried rice in the microwave or the pan. And I always pan fry it. It tastes much better to me that way. All right, so I'll be back once I put everything together. Okay, so here's our dinner. I made the orange chicken in the air fryer. And of course, as I mentioned, I stir fried that rice. And then we had some leftover green beans in the fridge. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, Howard grilled out some short ribs. It is 107 degrees as I speak. So I went to uh, Fiesta, which is a Latin American grocery store here in Texas. I think it's only in Texas. And in their meat department, they had these marinated um, short ribs. And I wasn't sure what the marinade was, but we just tasted it and it's like a fajita seasoning. So it's really good. And with it, I decided to make some black beans and rice. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So I am trying out a new recipe for dinner tonight. It is a, it's called slow cooker pesto mozzarella chicken pasta. Of course, I'll put the recipe in the description box. So in my crock pot, I have almost a pound and a half of chicken thighs. The original recipe calls for chicken breast, but I prefer cooking with thighs. And then next, and I've salt and peppered it. Next, I'm getting ready to add some pesto mix. And the brand is called Maya, Maya Camus. I think. So it calls for jarred pesto, but I'm using what I have. And so I made two packages of that pesto, which is the equivalent of the jarred sauce that they were asking for. And I'm just pouring the pesto over. And next, the recipe calls for you to squeeze some lemon juice. Howard's not a huge lemon juice fan, so I'm not using as much as it calls for get those seeds out of there and next it asks you to uh, lay some salted butter pats on top of everything all right so next it calls for you to cover the crock pot and to let this cook for about five or six hours I honestly don't see it needing to go for that long but I will bring you back for next steps Okay, so it's been about four and a half hours and I have already shredded up my chicken thighs. And uh, as you can see, got them in here. There seems like a lot of liquid, so I'm not sure. I'm a little bit nervous about that. But now it says to add in some grated Parmesan cheese and it specified the stuff in the uh, green bottle or green jar. So adding that in, giving it a stir. And then the recipe calls for one pound of cooked pasta. I'm actually using half a pound. So I cooked two cups of dry noodles and drained them, did not rinse them. I just added them in and I'm just gonna give these a good stir. Okay, so that those noodles are sucking up that liquid. So I didn't wanna do a pound of pasta because it's really just Howard and I eating it and a pound would have been a lot. So I usually do a half a pound of pasta. And as you can see, it's fine with this amount of liquid. And then the next thing it says to do is to top it with some shredded mozzarella cheese. 
I'm just gonna sprinkle it on top. And then it says to cover this for 15 minutes to let that cheese melt. Okay, so here is dinner and it is very good, very tasty. You can see a little bit of oil, um, butter, I'm not sure what it is, it kind of puddled at the uh, bottom of the plate, but it doesn't taste really oily, has a really good flavor. I would definitely make it again, serving it with a side salad and breadsticks. So these are the breadsticks that I'm using from HEB and then we're gonna be using this Olive Garden salad dressing. And then let me show you the rest of it in the crock pot. Um, like I said, just a little bit of oil, not very much. And I only used, um, as I mentioned before, a half a pound of pasta. And it seems like there's just enough liquid. So if you use a whole pound, I feel like it might be dry. I'm not sure, of course, but it seems like it would be. But anyway, this was really quick and easy and very tasty. So we will see you all next time. So for dinner tonight, I made wonton soup. I have made this before on our channel. I'll make sure to link that um, video in the description box so you can check it out. But I love making this soup, really easy to make. That is Harrison in the background. Just giving you a quick overview of what I used. I drained this can of mushrooms. I used a package of the egg flour hot and sour soup mix. And I have found this at Walmart. I found it at Winco, Asian grocery stores. I had a few of these mini wontons in the freezer I wanted to use. And then I just bought this chili sesame oil on a recent Trader Joe's haul. I'll link that in the box. And I added that and it adds a nice little kick of chili. It's it, And it's really good. And the uh, sesame oil, of course. I opened the lid and I don't know if you all can see it, but it says Mikasa. So that's who manufactured this. But of course it's Trader Joe's brand. Um, but anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having Popeyes. We had a new location that opened down the street from us, so we decided to run through the drive through We got the two can dine for $11.99, I think. I know it used to be like $9.99 years ago. Um, but you get five pieces of chicken, so we got two thighs, two legs, and a breast. You get two biscuits, and you get two sides. We got red beans and rice, and then we got macaroni and cheese. There is an upcharge for mac and cheese. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time.